I ate four plates and I didn't even I mean like it was Thanksgiving week and I did have like four plates oh my god and now my potluck I had like three plates to be technical I gained 0. 0.6 damn bro four plates and you had three plates at somewhere else I mean I'll give her that it was Thanksgiving if there's ever a time to eat lots and lots of food it's usually around Thanksgiving or Christmas but also given the fact this woman is nearly 600 pounds here nah you should probably be limiting your food as much as you possibly can you're 600 pounds that's enormous. That's so much weight. I feel like people have no idea how, how much how much actual weight that is, okay? A normal woman should weigh like 150. That's literally like four of those. That's four of those women. But it's only one person, dude. It's not like those four women literally sat there and did the fusion dance to fuse together. I was like, and they incorrectly fused because one of their fingers was off. No, this is one human being that weighs 600 pounds. Do you know how much... Food you need to eat in a day in order to even get close to that amount of calories, let alone gain weight on top of that 600 calories. Bro, this woman has to be eating like 9,000 calories a day. No joke. Every day. Consecutively. There's like no other way you can gain weight at this amount. That's crazy, bro. 600 pounds is a massive amount, dude. But I'll give her that she can walk. Um, it's crazy that she has as much mobility as she does. But then again, she's like 29. I know. She's 29. She's about to turn 29 at least. Uh, she's not 29 right now. She's 28. But still, god damn, bro. 29 woman look like she's literally in her mid-40s, bro. Jesus, man. You gotta... Weight should be adjusted, okay? Like, I get it. It's hard to lose weight, especially when your lifetime is filled with overeating and overconsumption, and you don't really care about yourself because you don't think it's going to negatively affect you when you know it is going to negatively affect you. I'm sick of people saying that. You know it's going to negatively affect you. I see her literally on the floor sometimes trying to get up, and she can't. So, yes, you know it's going to negatively affect you. But anyway, exo we're going to watch some more of this person because, I don't know, dude. I'm just I'm just kind of consumed by this person in the same way they consume a lot of their food. Um, they're currently right now at a BBW plus-size house. Crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to actually start a plus-size house myself um, for people that are only losing weight. Uh, in this plus-size house, it seems like they're just fat women. It's one guy. And all fat women, and I guess they're just living life, um, being clouded up and going to pool parties where you don't even need to have the, the heat onto the pool. Just have three plus size women in the pool at any given point in time. It will heat up. Trust me. So I didn't even gain a pound. Visiting your hometown isn't always roses and daisies. I always come back to this particular area. This is the first job I ever had. I remember I went to Panera to, to, to try to get a job, too, when I was, like, 20. And they wouldn't even hire me, dude. They was looking at me like, dude, you're fucking musty. You're busted. We're not going to hire you. They didn't say that, but they might as well. In my home. I was, I was really not qualified at all. So, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Town ever in my life. Every time I visit home, I like to come here mm. and reflect on where I am in that Damn. certain part of my life. Nobody in the Panera but her. I worked at Panera for six months when I turned 18 as a barista and a car. Ooh, calm down. What's all this? Sheer. This <gasps> is what I always get. Oh my get, God. Except for I think they got rid of the nap. Dude, why do you order so much food? So you got a solid sandwich. I have no idea what this is. Why do you need this much butter? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten butters? Ten? Damn, they must have been real upset. They really don't like giving out any type of uh, any any type of real condiments. They'll they'll really complain with you. They'll give you like one or two, and you ask for more. They're like, yeah, you want more? All right, we'll give you one more. But they don't usually go any more than over than that. You real lucky that you got that. Is that a real knife? At a Panera? Somebody let me know if they give you real knives at Panera. Does she bring one in? That's crazy, bro. I, I didn't know they had real knives. I, I'm pretty sure they just give you these plastic ones. But anyway, let's see. Oh, I'm a chicken food. salad sandwich. Not sure why. I kind of did regret getting that souffle because I ended up getting full way faster. Yeah, that's a good thing, though. You should be getting full very, very fast. But I doubt that that even impeded your ability to finish anything on this plate. By the way, people have told me that the dark marks around her eyes and the cheeks are signs of diabetes. Let me know if that's true or not. That's really sad, but I'm not surprised. A woman weighs 600 pounds. What do you want, dude? A lot of people don't talk about job security and insecurity, but for people my size, it's really hard for companies and people to want to take a chance on you. Yeah, no shit. 
uh, you're literally nothing but risk, like, across the board. If I hire somebody that's 600 plus pounds to do almost anything at all, I don't, there's no guarantee that if you do any of that, there's no guarantee you're going to do any of that stuff because of the size that you are. You know, most jobs nowadays are pretty sedentary, like you're sitting down for most of the day, which is great, by the way. Um, I would much rather that than, like, you know, running around and, 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 you know, farming fields and things like that. You know, personally speaking, though good job to anybody that is farming and doing all that stuff um aerobic aerobic activities when it comes to working but if you're working in a restaurant you're gonna have to be running around or at least you're gonna have to be standing up for long periods of time i'm pretty sure that they don't allow you to sit down any time of the day so you're gonna have to be walking around you're gonna have to be standing up there's no way somebody at 600 600 solid ass pounds literally uh you're like what 200 off the max weight that ronnie coleman was able to lift up off the floor dude actually insane but you're a human yeah, keep in mind. But I see people constantly complaining that they're not going to be able to find jobs because they're fat. What do you fucking want, dude? You're literally a walking risk factor. Uh, I don't even know if you fell down if you would be able to get yourself off the floor without anybody else's help. And also, it, what about like workers comp? I don't know if you get that working at uh, fucking whatever this is, Panera. But it's going to be very, very risky to hire you. I don't know if you're going to be able to come in on time because you're very, very fat. I don't know if you could walk to work. Uh, do you have your own car? Can you fit in your own car? How do you even drive your car? Is, is the seatbelt even sufficient enough, long enough to, to, to wrap around yourself? There's just a lot of things there. And then also the biggest problem, you're standing up for presumably six hours a day. And that's going to be very, very difficult for somebody that is 600 pounds. That's a lot of fucking weight, dude. And I'm sick of people just saying that's not an issue. Like, it is an issue, bro. Your, your knees are going to be crinkling after, like, a few days of doing that job. Your feet are going to be burning. You're going to be body slamming. Listen, if you're working at Chipotle, I know you in the back. I know you out here stuffing your face with all the bread, all the butters, dude. You smelling up the grease from the fryer later, licking up on the brim or something like that. Maybe that's not what she's doing, but that's something I'd be concerned about. I would be concerned about that. I'm not ashamed to admit it, dude. I know you would be concerned about it, too, because that's very, very practical of a situation. You're 600 pounds, dude. How the fuck did you get there? You got to be sucking grease off the side of the brim of, of friolators to get to that size and sustain it. There's a lot of judgment that comes with applying for jobs, and honestly, it happens to even skinny people. Yeah, but let's talk about why it happens to you. Um, I don't like to gaslight and say like, oh yeah, it happens to thin people too. So, you know, it's something that just happens. No, it doesn't just happen. I'm not being dismissed from jobs because I look physically incapable of doing that job. You are for good reason. 600 pounds is very, very unsustainable. That's like hiring a Prius to try to haul like big giant trucks, truck like pallets across the entire country. Can't do it. That's not the right vehicle for that. Same way that your vehicle that you're driving right now, which is an 18 wheeler, it, it should be realistically like a bicycle, but somehow your 18 wheel, 18 wheeler ass should be like working, manning registers, bringing people out food. Nah, it's just not practical, dude. I don't know. That's never going to happen. So it's, there's different reasons for it. If somebody that's thin is getting um, denied a job, usually isn't because of the way they look or it isn't usually because they're, you know, like thinner. Uh, but you, on the other hand, yeah, it makes a lot of sense, dude. That's probably going to be the number one reason why somebody isn't going to hire you. Panera was the first place that took a chance on me. Did she really? Hold up. Happens to even skinny people. Panera was the first place. She cleaned out that the the bread thing. I guess you don't eat this bread, which doesn't make any sense. Just put it in a bowl then. That's like getting an ice cream cone and just taking the cone and just tossing it. Why would you order this if you weren't going to eat it? It took a chance on me. Whatever. And honestly, I loved every moment of it. Um, I'm obviously going to turn 29 soon. so 29 is crazy, bro. I had not known. I thought this woman was literally in her mid-40s. And I'm not even trying to, like, joke around or be mean or anything like that. I genuinely had no idea this. I, I mean, a lot of people tell me that fat has a tendency of making you look young. And it's true. It, it over it, it blumps up your face, so you don't really see a lot of the key defining factors of being older. But for somebody like her, by the way, massive hole in the middle of her shirt right here, which is normal for her, she doesn't have a lot of clothes, and I've peeped that she doesn't like going shopping for anything besides food. But when you are uh 29 dude and you weigh this size yeah of course like the age is gonna catch up to you bro she probably literally aged her body by like a good 40 no by like a good 10 15 years by just having this weight on her consecutively and she's doing nothing to remedy that by the way because now she's literally uh at a plus size house which is just advocating for more plus sizeness so like they're ordering uber eats on a daily so i had this job when i was 18 so times are way much different now if you ever worked at Panera, you nah, dude, come on, man. 
Come on, bro. That's 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 diabolical, dude. You're not gonna be body slamming that Panera and then going to the going to the public bathroom and blow that shit up, man. That's fucking diabolical. R.I.P. to anybody that I gotta come into this bathroom after fucking Exo Dreamer going that shit, dude. No way that bathroom's gonna be salvageable. You gotta just destroy the whole thing, bro. That bathroom is finished. You know. Cooked. Anyways, bye guys. It's gonna be heated too. How much you wanna bet that seat is gonna be radiated with heat for the next like five years at minimum, dude. Like Chernobyl or something like that. Like the elephant's foot just put down on top of the brim of that toilet. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I spent so much time. God damn! God lord! What is this physique? How does one achieve a physique like this? How do? Where are your shoulders at? Are they down here? Are these shoulders? I don't know what's going on with this. But uh, a lot of people would be attracted to somebody like this. Now, th if this is what you're into, uh, that's what you're into. You know, I'm not here to tell you what you're, what's wrong or what's not. It is wrong. It's wrong. It's most definitely wrong. But um, there are worse things, obviously. Uh, there are people out there that want to literally eat you, like cannibal style. So I guess that's better than that. Uh, but then again, that's a really weird metric to use. Like, can you imagine somebody saying that? Like, oh, yeah. Like somebody being held up for murder at the court. And they go, yeah, hey, uh, you're you're on trial for manslaughter, for literally murdering somebody. And they go, but I didn't murder that many people. It was only like one or two people. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure there are plenty of other guys on this row today that have probably murdered more than that. That's not that bad. So I think I should get a lax sentence based off that thing. Nah, nah. So if you're into watching Exo Dreamer twerk it in a bathroom, which, by the way, this bathroom is the bathroom at uh, the, the plus size... The BBW house, that's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's beautiful. I love it. I'm so happy for her that she can find a place where she's so accepted and people like her to be fat, I guess. I don't know. It's probably hurting her, but I guess it's just like her dream or something like that. But um, still not good. Yo, she can move it, though. I'll give her that. She got a lot of movement in her body. And they always say that once you hit 600 pounds and you, and you, and you, you stop moving, it's pretty much GG at that point. Like, you just die. There's nothing you could do at that point. Your body is so incredibly unsustainable that, like, it's just giving up fundamentally. But I'm happy that she is still mobile. But you also got to look at this. She's 29, which is still really, really young. So she still has some years left. But make no mistake about it, that the weight on her body is aging it tremendously. Uh, physically, she probably is like a 50-year-old. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yo. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Yo. Somebody got to clean up after that, bro. Well, you'll have grease stains all over the floor there, dude. That's just going to be really, really unsafe when somebody needs to come in and take a shower. They're going to sit. They're going to try to go in there, take a shower, just slip because you left grease on the floor. Why are you smacking ass while you in the bathroom, dude? That's un that's unsanitary behavior. Gross. Disgusting. I'll see you one more time. Oh. Oh. Oh, damn, dude. I love how it took so much work to get the arm up and around. You know what I'm talking about, dude? Ooh, hubba hubba. Oh, that. oh, my God. I did not get a whole box of poopadino. I should not be awake right now. Yo, you got the condiments next to the bed? That's crazy, bro. What is this right here? Is that some mustard? You got some mustard next to the bed? Man. You gotta be some real big back shit to have mustard and condiments by the, by the bed, bro. That's big as shit. How deep are you in this bed right now, bro? This bed is finished, right? If this was like a Tepper-Pedic, that shit's gotta have like a... You know what I'm saying? But then again, for somebody like this... I remember I was watching like my, my weird obsessions or whatever. And there was this woman that was trying to become a bed. And she thought that the way to do it was to eat beds. So she would like go into her mom's room and she would take pieces of the bed and start eating it. And uh, she said when she was thirsty, she would think about drinking water beds. Which is really weird, by the way. Like, you don't become a bed from eating other beds. That'd be like a doctor going, you know, like, hey, I had to go to medical school for 10, 15 years of my life. I had to put in a lot of research, a lot of money. I didn't just go to the doctor's office and eat another doctor to consume his intelligence to become a doctor. You can't just eat beds to become a bed. Now, if you do want to become a bed, naturally, if you're 600 pounds, you could probably just roll up in like a Tempur-Pedic or a Sleepies and just throw yourself on the floor. Somebody will buy you. Somebody will look at you like, oh, wow, that's a really nice, kind of a little bit wet. Uh, what kind of water bed is this? The dude's going to come over like, huh, I don't remember when this one was installed. I don't even know. What is this bed, huh? 
I, I don't know. We'll sell it, though. Go ahead. Take a seat. You know, see how you feel on it. Now, if that's your goal, uh, who am I? To tell you what you can and cannot do. A lot of people, when they say their goals in life, astronaut, lawyer, uh, maybe even YouTuber, right? But for other people, might be waterbed. So if you want to dedicate yourself to be a waterbed, take the initiative, okay? And you're already 600 pounds, you might as well just roll up into a sleepies and drop on the floor and see what happens. Why not, dude? Why not? Maybe get on a frame. They're not going to know. Whatever, bro. It's, listen, you don't really care about yourself in general. You might as well let somebody else lay on you. Um. My tripod is on the floor. Can't be bothered to pick it up. That's too much work, obviously. I turned off the fan because I felt like it was doing too much. Here we go. Walmart Hall yeah. at 522 AM. 522 AM. I'm not surprised that she has poor sleeping habits. Usually people that have this amount of weight on their body have very, very, very poor hormones. And lack of sleep is most definitely up there. It took me like 20 minutes to open the bag. Okay, first, I got course. these. Of course, you got to get these bullshit ch cheese and sticks. If you know, you know. I already ate one. Damn. <laughs> already ate one, dude? Right off the bat like that? Do you that? prefer these or do you prefer, like, the actual, like, Ritz long crackers? No, I don't prefer any of these. That's not even real cheese, by the way. I just want everybody to know that. But GG on that. Uh, you already body slammed one. That was a five-pack. It turned into a four. I don't know why I got this. Teddy. She just eats too much garbage, man. She has too many excuses to eat uh, actual foods. Instead, she just goes, nah, I'm not going to eat actual food. What I'm going to instead do is buy bullshit. I do like the Teddy Grahams, though. The Teddy Grahams are okay, but I haven't eaten them in probably like 20 years, bro. Because, like, I'm not a children anymore. I'm a grown-ass man. So, one of the things about being a grown-ass man is you have to wear the same color socks, okay? You have to pay taxes, which is terrible, by the way. And then, also, on the list, I don't make this up cannot eat teddy grams so uh it sucks it sucks a lot of ass and big camel dicks but it is what it no you can eat camp you can eat not camel dicks sorry you can eat teddy grams if you want to um they're beautiful treats if you want to but probably not over consumption of these things i don't know why she finds herself so often going to walmart or these like bullshit stores and not buying actual food products but instead buying snack products there's a reason why you're 600 pounds teddy grams i don't know i just felt like they'd be a good snack yeah, no shit, they are that, a snack. So, of course, they would be a good snack. That's embarrassing. But I'll share. I'll, I got jerky. Terrible. But I got the small packets because I... These are small? These are small, huh? That's a small packet for you? All right, that's all I need to hear. I'm glad to know that's a small. I love, like, small packets jerky. I got gummy bears. Of course. Greater value, value, obviously. Stuff. I had to get these, of course. Love yep. these. I also got some other stuff, but it's like in the fridge and in the freezer. She's not going to show us that? Damn, bro. This physique is insane, dude. Whenever somebody lays down at this size, their body just becomes like one thing. One thing I did get, which I'm I'm kind of upset about because I don't like the way it looks, but it, it, it's, it's actually not bad. I got this journal. Why? It's cute, isn't it? I, the only thing I don't like is how big the rings are. I love the color. I love how it feels. I just don't like how... I didn't want it with the rings. I wanted it just like a composition. And then I do actually am obsessed. I don't like wide ruled. I only like college. Like, you what know, are like, you even going to write in this, dude? Today I woke up, can't get out of bed, stuck in bed again, waiting for somebody to come home to help me up, uh, smell like garbage again consistently, haven't taken shower, day number 144, um mouth smells like deodorant i don't know dude like what are we doing here super hungry haven't eaten in 44 minutes thin lines and then um what i do like about it is that you could rip it like okay. it has like a line right there oh i can't wait to write in this i've been needing something simple like this that's my walmart run I can't mean you just write it in your phone maybe it's the novelty of actually my handwriting is garbage so i'm never gonna write anything katie got it they went to go get it um it was for pickup. I can't remember what else I got, but... Yeah, that BBW guy just be buying shit for these women. I don't know how he's got so much goddamn money, but he real deal be caked up on the cash. And he just be hosting tons and tons of parties, buying these women whatever the fuck they want. It's actually real. Like, it's if you were a BBW and you weigh over mm, 500 pounds, this is a dream for you. Especially if you didn't want to lose weight and you were, like, not concerned about yourself at all. That's a little Walmart. Bye. Bye. This is a fit. I can't believe I'm wearing this. I oh, whoa. Oh, what is that? Oh, my God. You got the chain mail on? 
Where'd you find this? You went outside? Look, Mouse. I have some money. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Uh, this is the ideal woman for me, dude. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling some type of way right now. I'm just feeling a little bit hot and bothered. Like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like I need to start dancing right now just to feel like, feel it out, man. Oh, my hormones are really, really elevated right now. How come nobody's honking? How come nobody's going, uh, uh, woo, nice ass? Nobody's saying that. How come, dude? I'm saying I can't wait. And you sitting here eating whatever that is, dude? You got a whole tray of food? God damn, bro. I, I, I can't even believe you wore something like this. I, like, even a normal person wearing something like this would be crazy. What is this? Is this like a medical armband you just got out of the ER? This Sunday, Love Island finale. I'm rooting for Cordell and Serena. Definitely, period. I love the fact that it took her time to get to know him okay. and to fall in what love with doing, him. What are we doing, man? My friend keeps trying to make me drink water. I want to talk about Love Island. What's poppin' hoe? We in Long Beach, and don't you ever motherfucking get it twisted. I'm here with my friend. We ain't playing no- <laughs> What are you guys doing out, dude? A couple baddies on a prowl? A couple baddies looking for some BBC? Some menses? What's, what's the plan here? What are we doing tonight? Why are we go out? A couple baddies, dude. Yo, where Gorlock? Gorlock around here? You know, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Gorlock look, looking really good about now, man. I'm gonna keep it a bug, dude. I think Gorlock might be a 10 compared to what I'm looking at. No one. That makes a lot we of sense. We got here the grilled Jesus. Bruh. Done got us a water from the deli. She in New York and it's a deli. Just kidding. We're going to a gay club. Okay. Damn. But we're not gay. I guess it really I wouldn't matter at this size. I've never worn anything like this. I look like a prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a couple prostitutes. Yeah. Holy shit. I still go always. I can't. Why would you? You know what? There is a benefit to being this big. When you can literally use your body as like a place to just put your drinks. You see how she's just balancing it on herself like that? That's actually, there have been times where I was holding a really heavy bag and I had to wait for somebody and I'd just sit there with the bag in my hand. It was like ripping into the skin of my hand. And I really could have wished I had something to just put it on. You know what I'm talking about? Just had like a big portion of my body, like a handlebar that I had on my body. There might be a benefit. I mean, it's probably not something that I want to do naturally. Like obviously your body shouldn't have like cup holders, but I'm trying. I'm trying to find reasons. Go inside like this. Y'all, you're gonna get a muck bonk. I'm not that lifted, but I could be. Let's huh? have a little piece of the grilled cheese. What do you mean Shout a little out to piece? Abe the human. So we went to a plus size event. So now we went somewhere else. A plus size I'm event? I'm not a hater. Dude, a grilled cheese in the middle of the night while wearing your chain mail like your King Arthur? I hate it. Okay. Hey, that's just bomb. Dude, what? And she took your food? Um, Hi, my fucking there. friends are here. They're bitches. But anyways, damn. We Good lord, bro. Gotta go. Oh yeah, Serena Cordell, Miguel, and um, Leah. Leah, baby's popping. Like, don't get it twisted. Don't ever play with Leah. Period. Bye. Uh, wish us luck. We're about to go into the place number two. Good luck. This outfit. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty, yo. Oh my god. Are we on a toilet? I don't even see the toilet. God damn! I can smell it. Oh, oh, that shit's hurt. Ooh, oh damn. Oh damn. What is that? Pregnant with what? That grilled cheese from earlier? This makes a lot of sense, bro. Oh my god, this is so unsafe. How far back is that chair, man? 
Dude, where's the seatbelt? No seatbelt? I hope she in New Hampshire, dude. Damn, that gut fully extended on the steering wheel itself. I guess you don't need to, like, take your hands off the wheel to bump it. You can just kind of go like this. You can kind of, like, move yourself forward slightly to... This has got to be really, really unsafe, right? How much does a foot weigh itself? Like, 80 pounds? Like, you going to let your foot sleep on the gas real quick? Damn, man. You could literally steer with your gut, man. No hands type shit, dude. What the fuck? Really unsafe. I've never done this in my whole life. This is the most amazing thing I've ever done. I want to cry. I weigh almost 600 pounds and I've never driven. I, can, I, I see why you never driv driven, dude. This is really unsafe, bro. This is who who let you drive, bro? Where'd you find his car? What are you GTA in this? I saved my life. Am I doing it right? You got this, mama. So you got this. I believe in you. Oh my, oh my god, god, it dude. feels so good. I needed this. Hi guys, I just came from the tattoo parlor and I got my septum pierced. Just kidding, it's a prexel. Why are we doing this, Exo? Why is this your life? Why are you uh why are you looking at it like that? That's all you gotta say. That's all I need to hear from you, XO. GG, you did a good job. You were a good person for that. You're a beautiful person, matter of fact. One of the best people. I really, really care for XO Dreamer. Um, just casually eating pretzels that were just in your nose. Beautiful. Um, absolutely gorgeous of a human being, the epitome of what we should all strive for in terms of achievements and physiques and, uh, truly personality. I mean, this woman is emanating so much goodness off of herself every single day. Now, when I mean goodness, I mean must, but anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So, if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Thank you so much to anybody and everyone that's watched this video. If you watched the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by having an orange or oranges. If there's like an orange emoji or like a color that's an orange, um, you can go ahead and put that down there too. I'll appreciate any of the oranges I get down there. I think oranges are pretty good. They're a little veiny. It's a little weird sometimes. Hold up now. Hold up now. Hold up. I didn't mean veiny like that. But an oranges are veiny. They have like those little veins inside of them. And I peel them off. I don't really like it. Same thing with bananas. Like you ever eat bananas and got the veins going down the side? It really creeps me out when people just kind of don't do anything with those veins. I even see I even see monkeys when they peel bananas. They, they peel off those veins. But some people don't. Some people just eat them straight up, veined up, and all this other stuff. Fine, dude. If that's what you want to do, man, you want to eat that fucking veiny banana, go ahead, bro. That's up to you, man. It's kind of gross, but uh, I, I realize how that sounds as well. Veiny bananas. I support it, though. Anyway, you're a beautiful person. You smell great today. I love the. Your, I love your aura. I know a lot of people have been saying that recently. I have no idea what that even means. The only aura that I've ever been familiar with has been the kind that emanates off you when you go super saiyajin. So, uh, yeah, I love your super saiyajin aura. That's beautiful. It's so... Wow, that's a really nice color of your aura. Um, very demure. Am I doing it right? Am I saying things correctly? I'm not with, I'm not hip. I'm not hip with the times, dude. Um, no cap is busted. Anyway, you're beautiful. You're fantastic. You're amazing. I love the way you drank that water today. Very, very good. Very, very delicious. Good job today. Uh, if you want to check out my socials, they'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.